Hello everybody. Working with dates in SharePoint comes up all the time. Today we're going to look at a common way to display that date range data. The Gantt chart. Gantt charts have been around for a long time. They are simply a bar chart showing date ranges from left to right in a visual manner and it's a good and useful tool for showing our date data. We're going to look at a simple, easy to use template that you can add into SharePoint Online to have your own Gantt charts. So now, let's get SharePoint Smart. All right, well, let's just start by looking at what is a Gantt chart in the first place. This is just the wiki page for Gantt chart, and it's got a screenshot from Microsoft Project, and it shows the general concept. So you've got some date ranges displayed as bars, and it gives us a comparison. In this case, they're thinking about different phases in a project. So some of the things it's giving us is the start and end over the range uh, tells us the total duration of that time frame, and then they're ordered um, ascending in chronological order. So that's the general concept of a Gantt chart. All right, so let's switch and go into SharePoint. And this is all that you need in order to get your own Gantt chart going. We really just need a start date field, an end date field, and then we just need a uh, title uh, for a label. Now you can use another field if you want, but this is really all the information we need to feed this Gantt chart that we're going to set up. Okay, so once you have this list set up, and if you need to just start with some dummy dates, you can head over to the tool and the template that we're going to use. So I'm going over to SharePoint Dashboard Maker um, and that link will be below the video. Uh, you can just go directly to the template from there. Once I'm in SharePoint Dashboards.com I'm going to select the Gantt chart view. Um, so I scroll to the bottom and here is the template that we're going to use. When this first comes up, it's giving me a preview window, which just helps me understand what is this template that I'm working with. I'm going to click the Stop Preview button, and that gives me a real-time preview that I can use during the configuration steps. When you first get there, make sure to check the field names. Uh, if you just use the field names that I did, which are simply Start for the start date, End for the end date, and then I'm using the title field for the label. You can actually just leave those. And then by default, it's giving me a one year time frame. So I have it set for January 1 of this year to December 31 of the year. You can set whatever time range you want, um, but just adjust those volumes or those uh, dates according to however you want that to work. And then obviously I don't want the, the title to actually be my Gantt chart, so let's change that. So we'll say um, 2021 Project Tracking. And when I change that, you'll see the preview changes real time. Then you can also do things like adjust the font size, so I'll make that a little bit bigger. Um, you can optionally toggle on and off the uh, date labels, and I can do things like tweak the colors. Maybe I want to do a little bit different color. I'll go ahead and do that. Um, so the lime green, um, I'll go for um, kind of this peach color. Um, and you can make tweaks like that. Or maybe I want to make the row height a little bit bigger, that type of thing. So I can change that. I can even use the slider if I want. Um, for now, we'll stick with 40. And um, that just gives me a preview and helps me know what this is going to look like. Here, I'll even change the uh, background color to something slightly different just to kind of demonstrate how easy it is to make those adjustments. So once you have it looking the way you want in here, all I've got to do is click this copy button and then now I can hop back over to SharePoint. This is a 
view formatting template that I'm using. So what I do is go to the view. I've made a view and you should make a separate view um, in your list. Um, you can just copy the all items view. I've made one called Gantt um, because I know I'm getting ready to do this. Do format current view and advanced mode and simply paste in your template. All right, so I've got a problem, right? Uh, it's going off the page. That's not a big deal. Um, it just tells me, whoops, my date range is wrong. So it's kind of good we ran into this because it helps us to understand how does this thing even work in the first place. Okay, so I need a uh, longer date range. Lucky, luckily for me, that's a really easy adjustment. I don't have to even touch the code. I want this to be a two-year time range, so um, I just adjust that value and the uh, template I'm using will immediately adjust for me. I can come back over here and you're going to see it's going to dynamically pick that up and now it actually looks the way that I want it to. Okay, and next thing I want to do is actually see, okay, what happens when I'm updating the data real time? Well, it works really nicely. So let's just um, take an adjustment. I'm going to go into this Apple's project. If I click on it, you'll see it update the uh, side panel and um, let's just uh, decrease the uh, end date there. Oop, going the wrong direction. Okay, so let's do December 22nd. And if you'll notice, the bar changed real time. So it's cool in that it just changes immediately for me. Um, so I really like the dynamic aspect of that. And then, like I say, you can do tweaks to font sizes and things like that according to the way you want it to look. You know, so maybe I want to do some experimenting. Uh, for example, try a darker background color. I can make those adjustments very fast and easy. So um, if I wanted to experiment with that, I can just switch that over. Um, you know, and just within a few clicks, I can come back over and update the view. And I just do another copy paste. There it is, it just changes immediately. Okay, so um, other things you can do, you can tweak the uh, overall width, you know, so maybe I want something that really stretches out and I've got a lot of records. Um, I can expand that. You can see it expands the preview window for me. I can copy that. And what's neat is it adjusts this dynamically. So those bars are automatically adjusting their widths as well. Um, so maybe I like something that kind of scrolls along and I can get more of a wider view. Um, also, when I hover over these, it's giving me the summary information. It's auto-calculating the duration in days between those two dates. It's automatically doing that math for me, so that's pretty cool. How long was this time frame? 150 days. How long is this one? 52 days, that kind of thing. So that's pretty cool. We like that. So that's really all there is to it. It's a very simple and easy to use template, easy to understand concept. and. Um, it's definitely something you'll have a lot of fun playing with. All right, so uh, we took a look at this formatting template. This is a part of the SharePoint dashboards website that um, I have set up and run. And when you get in there, it is a paid template. And this is part of a whole full set of templates. There, there's 42 total templates that you can use with all kinds of different dynamic dashboard options. So lots of utility to let you do similar things to set up dashboards and get dynamic views. You can, if you want to first, just go ahead and use some of the free templates that are there. Um, but if you want to uh, tap into this and get Gantt charts rolling in your SharePoint environment today, um, it's just a matter of subscribing to that package and that'll get you set up. You don't have to do any installation or anything like that. It'll just give you full access to the whole set. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you found that interesting. If you have any questions about how the template works or how to use it in your own environment, just make a post and a comment below the video. I love to hear from you guys. And also I'm interested in um, how people are using it in their own organization. Hopefully you found that interesting and we'll see you around for the next video and uh, thank you and see you next time. <laughs>